Yeah. And we don't have anybody to sit here. No, no. Okay, thank you. Yes. Oh, yeah, you confused me. I thought I put a name tag there. Okay. okay. No, no. Right. I just put it on there. Okay, you good. Thank you. Thank you. I guess so. I thought I would like sitting next to you. Yeah. Whoa, you're a very important person now. You get to sit up front, huh? See me too much. Ooh. I feel the thrill. <laughs> the thrill of working with you. <laughs> okay. I'm going to uh, call to order the May uh, 15th meeting of the uh, 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 Woodland uh, Davis Clean Water uh, Agency. Uh, welcome uh, to, to everybody. Uh, we have a quorum in uh, Director uh, Davies from uh, Woodland and Director Lee. From, uh, from Davis and, uh, and myself, uh, Joe Provoza. Uh, first uh, item is uh, roll call, so observe that we've, uh, we've got Directors Lee, Davies, and Cravoza with us. Uh, I know Director Marble uh, sends uh, great regrets, as uh, did alternate uh, Hilliard for not being able to uh, join us. And I did hear from uh, City England at the University who's not able to be with us uh, today, but we'll obviously be able to take care of the, the critical business that we have before us. Um, approval of the agenda. I'd like to uh, also note that uh, General Manager Dennis Deemer is uh, is uh, out of country on vacation that was long planned, and so we have uh, standing in uh, Richard Shanahan, our uh, legal counsel. So, um, Dick, anything uh, on the agenda that uh, we want to adjust before uh, considering approval? No, sir. Okay. Could I have a motion to approve the agenda? Uh, motion to approve. Thank you. Uh, yeah, motion to approve agenda. Okay, move, moved and seconded. Discussion. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed. Uh, motion carries 3-0. Uh, uh, we'll move down to public comment. Are there members of the public that would like to address us on any matter uh, that's uh, not on the agenda or a matter on the agenda that you're not able to stay for? Okay. Uh, there being none, we'll move then to uh, agency business. Uh, the first item we have for agency business is a closed session. And so I think we'll adjourn into closed session. And Dick, is there an estimate of the time it'll take us in closed session? Uh, I'll, I'll guess 10 minutes. OK. All right. So uh, thanks all. Uh, don't go too far. Uh, and we hope to be back in, uh, in 10 or, or less. Uh, all right.
in the public session of the Woodland Davis Clean Water Agency board meeting, uh, we met uh, in a closed session on uh, this real property matter that's uh, indicated on the agenda. We have no reportable action uh, out of the uh, out of the session. Uh, we knew, we move now to uh, agency business item two, uh, consent items. We have our April 17th, 2014 uh, minutes and a contractor uh, change order summary. Um, Skip, I believe you maybe wanted to ask a question on the, the change order um, that, summary. That, that would be in the new change order, not the Not one. that one. Okay, it's the one. other one. And I wasn't here for that meeting, so I don't think I could be participate in the minute approval. Okay, I'll move approval of the minutes. I second. Okay. Uh, although I do believe it's appropriate for you to vote on the minutes, uh, even though you I can trust work, you. Yeah, if okay. you trust us. Okay. <laughs> that is a big contingency uh, trust, there, uh, uh, but we will need your vote to okay. uh, to move them forward. Uh, discussion on the minutes, or uh, we let's see. I, I move the consent items, uh, both the minutes and the contractor change order summary. Uh, that's seconded by Director Lee. Discussion. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed. Uh, motion carries uh, 3-0. Oh. We'll move now to item 3. This is uh, consider adoption of resolution approving the state revolving uh, fund funding agreement with the uh, California Department of uh, Public Health uh, with the city of, uh, well, for the city of Woodland. Uh, it's agreement for the assumption of obligations under the funding agreement uh, and related actions. Uh, Dick, would you like to take us through the staff report here? Yes, Mr. Deemer, before he left on vacation, asked me to handle this and the next agenda item in his absence. Uh, this agenda item involves the proposal to approve a loan agreement with the California Department of Public Health. This is a significant uh, milestone action item for the agency. This effort started uh, um, some time ago when the city of Woodland started a uh, uh, effort with uh, what we call CDPH, California Department of Public Health, on SRF funding. Early on, uh, CDPH uh, directed that, well, there really ought to be two loan agreements, one with Woodland Davis Clean Water Agency for Woodland's share of the regional water facilities and a separate, separate loan agreement with the city of Woodland for the city's local water system improvements, and that's how the two agreements have been processed in past months. Uh, the City of Woodland agreement has also been uh, finalized. Coincidentally, that was approved a couple days ago by the Woodland City Council. Before you now is the, the component piece of that, a uh, loan agreement in the amount of $111.4 million, which would cover the City of Woodland share of the capital cost of the regional water project, including uh, both sunk costs, uh, you know, some, some sunk capital costs going back in time, as well as the moving forward CH2M Hill and other capital costs. Uh, it's a 20-year loan with a fixed interest rate of 1.79 percent. These are favorable loan terms. Staff has uh, worked closely with the CDPH staff and we have um, uh, modified the agreement and worked with the state to get it to a point where staff recommends approval of this contract. The transaction as applied to the agency is a little different because you are a water wholesaler. You're not a water retailer. The ordinary SRF loan, the primary borrower security would be the borrower's rates and charges revenue from the utility system. Here you don't have rates and charges revenue because you're, you're a wholesaler, so your, your security is the promise of the City of Woodland to pay the agency under the Joint Powers Agreement. The ultimate security backing up the City of Woodland's JPA obligation is the City of Woodland's rates and charges revenue. And because of that unique arrangement and the fact that, that we're a step removed from the rates and charges revenue that ultimately secure this obligation, we negotiated a separate um, assumption agreement that's also in the agenda packet that is a three-way agreement between the agency, the City of Woodland, and the State Department of Public Health that uh, essentially commits the City of Woodland to pay the agency's share of the, uh, of the loan agreement through City of Woodland rates and charge through a pledge of City of Woodland rates and charges. So that's also an integral piece of this transaction. Um, included in the agenda packet is a, a staff report that explains the agreement in a bit more detail. The, agreement, the, the agreements themselves as well as a uh, resolution um, state request that this item be approved by resolution. Uh, the resolution approves the agreements, authorizes the performance of the agreements and designates various responsibilities along those lines. And it also pledges the uh, City of Woodland 
payment obligation under the JPA to the state of California as security. So with, with that, staff recommends approval and see if you have any questions. Uh, Paul? Yeah, just, just to add that uh, this item uh, was essentially also in front of the Woodland City Council last Tuesday night. Council voted to approve um, authorizing the agency to proceed with the um, agreement that's in front of you today as well as the assumption agreement. So um, I think the JPA action today would be the last piece uh, to allow us to execute the funding agreement. Uh, are there any members of the public that would like to address us on this uh, matter? Okay. Uh, questions from uh, uh, directors of the uh, of the agency? I just have a comment. Uh, okay. City of Woodland City Council very excited about this opportunity. Uh, appreciates the work of the agency in helping us to move this forward. Uh, extremely appreciative of the rate at 1.787, not 1.79, uh, uh, which, uh, you know, is very favorable to our ratepayers. So uh, uh, the council wanted me to express that appreciation uh, to everybody here and uh, to make the motion, if appropriate, that we accept the recommendation of the staff and move this forward. I, I second that. Okay, moved by Director Davies, seconded by Director Lee. Uh, this really is uh, historic. I mean, this is one of the achievements, I think, of the agency and certainly the city of Woodland that was not necessarily expected at the time that we embarked upon this uh, project. It was an opportunity uh, that presented itself, and because we've got such super staff and we had the project lined up, we were able to take advantage of you know, these kinds of dollars that uh, otherwise might have gone to other communities. And uh, I can only express the uh, congratulations of the city of Davis uh, for the, the great work of Woodland and the agency for uh, helping out the city of Woodland uh, and express uh, great hope uh, that the uh, SRF funds uh, that would line up with the Davis side of the project uh, will proceed. Uh, and I know that uh, Woodland is very supportive of that as well. So it, it, it builds a wonderful partnership here back and forth to help both cities uh, get in this same pool of, of outstanding financing. So. Uh, I'll just make a very brief comment that, uh, yeah, it's very exciting, uh, the 1.787%. I mean, it's about a third of what, you know, we would expect if we went out to uh, private bond, bond financing, and it really will make a big difference in the water rates that uh, the people in Woodland play, pay. So it's, it's just a, a wonderful thing. Thank you. Yeah, we're very pleased. Very pleased. Is there, uh, Skip or Paul, I actually am curious, uh, I mean, have you, have you made a, What's the, what's the rough cut statement on the uh, ratepayer savings in in Woodland? That uh, uh, it's a Paul well, we haven't entirely translated into rates, but the the savings in debt service on a twenty year amortization at one point seven eight percent compared to the traditional utility rate revenue thirty year bonds that we had used for our rate study. The savings is in excess of a hundred million dollars over the term of the financing. Over the it's, 20 years? Well, we had 20 year versus a 30 year bond financed model, which we had always hoped to come in under, but I think we shared with the council we did not expect to be able to come in uh, with this kind of funding package. But the, the savings and debt service is again about $100 million over the project life. So the $100 million is the delta between what the assumed 30-year financing was compared to the 20-year financing yeah. at, this, uh, right. at this rate? Admittedly, a, a conservative 30-year financing. SRF was always hoped that they'd be a piece of the puzzle. Um, we didn't think, in this case, the City of Woodland share of regional and local will be 100 percent you know, SRF funded. Um, it will have a significant impact, um, but we haven't yet get in, got into the discussion of how to, um, there's still a ways to go with the project, so. So when, when, when will the, uh, I'm just, more, this is just more yeah. curiosity, but when, when will, may the city, uh, when may the residents of the city of Woodland learn how this savings uh, will translate into the, the rate increases that otherwise they're expecting? Um, I'd say the, the, in terms of when, we will probably um, 
go out of our way to communicate through various sources once we have the funding agreement signed and actually executed. Um, I think there's a conversation obviously still to be had about how we um, proceed with the rate increases that are currently in place. Um, Theoretically, there's a significant impact in, in the last year of whether we even need to do the last year rate increase or we could smooth out yeah. the ramp up. So um, we still have to have that discussion. Okay. Very but this will be in excess of, of, of 10 or 15 yeah. um, percent that, that we can forego. That's, that's a good number to, to, to keep in mind. I, I think, uh, you know, and obviously Davis will be confronting the same thing as well. Hopefully, you know, within the next couple of months, we'll be able to be looking at uh, you know whether you do a new 218 or right or whether you yeah. roll off the last year or those kinds of things. I, I should just clarify for the this audience and the JPA that our analysis on the favorable rate impact um, not only includes the financing but also the uh, favorable results of the negotiated DBO contract and all the things that the um, agency and the cities have done to manage the overall project costs. Financing is huge, but it's it's one piece of the whole package. Right. Good, good. And, and Skip, if you need somebody to announce those yeah. rate rating rate decreases in Woodland, I'd be happy to do that I for you. I think we'll probably get you a little press on that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm available yeah. uh, 24 uh, seven. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, 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 we work best after nine. I don't know, you know, <laughs> uh, you know, there's the piece that we're talking about here, which is which is evident for the agency, and that's the. The, the plant and the pipe, but we also uh, have the same f rate on our improvements, our local improvements, and uh, so that's not part of your action, but it, it, it's, it's part of the same package, and our, our staff has been extremely diligent, and, and along with your staff, and uh, the, I think this, the, the rate payers in the city will be pleased with that. Thank you. Very good. So I'd like to move the question now that we've talked about that. Perfect. Uh, move. Seconded. Further discussion? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. 3-0. Uh, three, three oh. uh, we'll move now to uh, item 4, under agency uh, business. Uh, this is, uh, this is the, the change uh, order uh, that I referenced earlier. So uh, consider approval of CH2M Hill service contract change order number 5. Uh, and uh, this relates to the uh, SRF funding uh, accommodating one of the considerations of SRF funding. So, uh, Dick, would you walk us through this briefly? Yes, sir. Uh, last uh, uh, summer, fall, when we were negotiating the service contract with CH2M Hill, we hoped for and anticipated that we would eventually have the SRF funding. So, we negotiated a uh, uh, added these terms into the CH2M Hill contract. What uh, federal and state agencies typically do, as you know, when they dish out grant and loan funding, they typically attach several conditions and strings to the use of that money, and this SRF program is no different. So implementation of SRF program requirements will impose several administrative and other obligations on CH2M Hill, the prime contractor for this job, and we've in already incorporated those provisions in the service contract and included a um, kind of a switch, if you will, that if, if we, the agency, instruct you to implement and comply with SRF funding, then you will do so, and in exchange we will pay you an additional $350,000. Uh, the change order that's in your agenda packet is is that uh, document. It does those two things. It instructs CH2M Hill to finally implement the SRF funding, which they're they're already aware of, and then then secondly, it increases the the uh, design build price by the uh, agreed upon sum of three hundred and fifty thousand dollars. And staff recommends approval. Okay. Are there any members of the public that would like to address us on this item? Okay. There uh, being none, uh, comments from our directors. I, I had a question regarding the the amount and what exactly those uh, those new requirements were, and they've been satisfactorily answered by Mr. Meyer, so I have no further questions. Okay. Right. I'll second that. Okay. So uh, moved by uh, Director Davies, seconded by uh, Director Lee. Uh, no further discussion. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries 3-0. Uh, long range uh, board calendar. Let's see. Uh, I don't know if there's going to be changes since we discussed this at the last uh, meeting. And uh, I'm scrolling down to find the right right page here. 
June 19th in Davis. Hmm? Okay, let's see. There you go. Yeah, I scrolled already. Okay. Uh, anything, Dick, to, yeah, June 19th, next meeting in Davis, uh, anything beyond that? Uh, no, uh, June meetings uh, got several important uh, end of the year business items, so that's an important item. Mr. Deemer will be back uh, by then, and uh, uh, we, we also know that the board had asked for an update on the uh, energy efficiency update, and you'll see that'll be on the that agenda as well. Good. Okay. Anything else, uh, Long Beach calendar? Uh, Brett? I'm not uh, available on that date. I could do it the week before. Would that work for the other directors and staff in terms of having the meeting uh, one week earlier or perhaps one week later? Um, or, I mean, obviously, uh, you know, there are other directors, so if I'm not available, um, I'm sure someone could fill in for me. But I, I will mention it now that I, I do have a conflict on that date. Okay, let's... Uh Linian, do you do you know? I'm, I'm pulling up my calendar here. Um, Skip, you're gonna you're taking a look as well. If if you'd like, I could pull everybody um, next week, and people could be looking at their calendars. Uh, Dennis will be back on June second, and I can check in with him then, and we can go from there. That'd be the twenty third. You're looking at then possibly, right? There are no yes, correct. Eighteenth to twenty-sixth. I, I was thinking the either the twelfth or the twenty-sixth. So oh, okay. The Thursday before or the Thursday after, but um, yeah, the, the polling sounds like a great idea. Right. Yes, I think it'd be best to poll everybody, and then I would think it would probably be realistically the twenty-sixth may work better because the prior week would be pretty early with Dennis getting back on June second. Um, Yes, but we'll poll everybody. Excuse me. I just wanted to note that the uh, 26th is the tentative intake structure groundbreaking. Oh, that's right. That's right. What, what time were we thinking about for that groundbreaking? 3 o'clock. Yeah, four, that's from 3 to three six. 6. Yes, so. We could meet here at 2 and then just <laughs> head on over. That's right. That will keep the meeting short. Yeah. As we sort of wonder about that, I'm just realizing that, I guess, would that be your last meeting, Joe, or how would that work? Yeah, I'll be, uh, uh, no, I'll, I'll, I'll be on council, and so I'll be a member of the Clean Water Agency on the 26th. Uh, that's, that's fine, yeah. Um, I won't go off of the Davis City Council until uh, probably early July when the election is certified, so... Uh, and the new and the new office and the new council sworn in, and so the begin the earliest I think they'll all be off the Davis Council formally will be uh, July one. Um, there's a chance it could roll later, but probably not. Then, so. um, I guess related to that is it would be nice to have um, at least uh, at least some aspect of our agenda thanking Joe for his service and you know. Sure. I'm all for that. You bet. <laughs> I'm not leaving until we break ground on the intake structure. I'm just <laughs> laying laying it down right there. So, uh, that'd be that'd be just fine. However, we do so whatever, whatever bar we choose is acceptable to me. So, so what, what the conversation was a, a lunch meeting on the 26th before the before the groundbreaking, right? I, I would be open to that. I mean, for all I mean, we make it earlier, time. one o'clock, two o'clock, whatever. Sure. We get this thing done if. That works for everybody, if, and you can you can right. check. But I mean, um, yeah, that's an idea. If we, if we could do it the same day, because uh, we're going to be committed that day anyway, uh, might be an opportunity. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I I like that idea a lot. I mean, as long as we we think we can estimate a you know comfortable amount of time for the for the agency business, uh, and then adjourn to the to the uh, ceremony. Sure, uh, and, and you. You might want to do it in Woodland since we're closer to the river. Uh, <laughs> I, I would be open to that. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. Uh, I'll pass all this information on to Dennis, and we'll take a look at everything. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. We got uh, maybe a couple other quick uh, okay. quick reports uh, to to jump to here, but um, let's see, I'm just. Scroll back up here. Uh, let's see. I think I know we at least have technical uh, 
committee items, anything? Yeah, uh, I'd like to report on the city of Davis's uh, water lines that we're building internally in the city to reserve, receive the surface water and the status on that. So I'd just let you know that design is proceeding. Uh, moving forward, we're about 30% at design level now. We're still on track so that we can start construction soon after the beginning of the year. Uh, alignment will be nailed down around the beginning of July, and so then our public outreach uh, folks will be able to start uh, discussing with the public some of the areas that will be impacted and uh, how we'll uh, work with the folks that are impacted. So on schedule to uh, have uh, the majority of that pipeline ready and up and functioning with CH2M Hill's uh, date of acceptance testing of May, two years from right now, exactly right now. So the uh, couple long lead items on the pipeline would be working under the interstate or under 113. Those permits take some lead time, so those areas might possibly not be done, but the vast majority is still on track right now. So just wanted to report. Very good. Thank um, you. Yeah. And also in uh, Woodland, the three million gallon tank uh, storage tank is nearing completion. It's currently full of water, and uh, it'll be put into service at the end of next month. Our uh, eastern trunk line uh, is out to bid. Our western trunk line is nearing 100 percent design, and will go out to bid shortly. And uh, so we're moving forward with our projects. Thank you. Excellent. The big tank is a is a new uh, a new structure on the Yolo County landscape. Uh, it's gonna it's fun to see it uh, going up and down. Uh, yeah, it's a, it, it's a really interesting tank. It's it's going to be half buried, so it's not as oh, imposing as a as a full size tank. Oh, very interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I would have assumed it was all. <clears throat> no, I'm, what I'm seeing is not what meets the eye. Right, yeah, so it's at corner of 98 and El Dorado. Yeah, yeah. Skip? We have volunteer painters in our community that are going to paint that. I recommend that. Yeah. It was a, it was a labored but satisfying process in no, the city we, of Davis. Yeah, we, we got kids. I, you got kids. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you're serious or not. Okay. Uh, I'm happy, I'm happy to come up and speak. I'm sure the community would, would be very interested in the Davis perspective. Uh, very good. Let's see. Um, uh, that's it for technical uh, uh, you know, advisory committee comments. Thanks. Uh, any correspondence, uh, Dick or, or Paul, uh, anybody to, to share uh, with the board? No, nothing to report. Okay. Any board member comments? Plenty. Okay. Uh, move to adjourn. So move. Okay. All those in favor? All right, we stand adjourned. Thank you all for uh, coming together to uh, take care of these things.